Well, I've just finished dyno tuning a new 3 litre patrol common rail. These vehicles have the uh, same ZD30 engine. Pretty much have just upgraded the injection system to common rail, so they probably really don't go any better in some respects to the previous Nissan ZD30 engine, but it's probably just a little bit more efficient. Um, these customers come in, of course, to gain a little bit more power. As you can see from the dyno graphs at the back, we have gained certainly some more power. And the line down the bottom is what we call the air fuel ratio line. That's probably the important one that uh, I always look at. We don't want to really richen the mixture up too much because with the diesel, fuel makes heat. So we've been able to gain a reasonable amount of power here, probably about 12% or so at the wheels. And we've made pretty much next to no difference in the air fuel ratio. It's just slightly richer, which you'd expect. More power means more fuel. What this will equate to on the road, though, is probably a lighter throttle application by the customer. In turn, that's generally how they can get a better fuel economy gain. So uh, when it comes down to fuel economy, there's no magic. It still comes down to the driver. If you've got the vehicle tuned in good order, in this case, this Nissan's come up very well, maintained correctly, you're in your best position to get fuel economy benefits.